What's good, everybody? The voice of the WGC back in the building. And this should be the last piece of UFC 5 info for the day. Maybe. We'll see. Anyways, UFC 5 will supposedly have an online career mode. Insider Gaming was told that progression will be similar to that of ranked championships from prior UFC games. There will be differences, however, in the form of evolution points. These points, it said, will let players improve their fighter the more they fight online. Each division will allow for a different creative fighter. Fights will be found via skill-based matchmaking. For those wondering, the online career mode is an addition to the offline mode. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So basically, this is going to be UFC 5's version of, I don't know, my park, I'm guessing, because you're creating your fighter and you're constantly playing online to level them up. I guess this is UFC, UFC 5's version of my park. I don't know. I don't know. Probably. But what I want to know, EA is how is the online going to be outside of the online career mode? Because those of you who have been playing the UFC games and have played UFC 4, you know how trash these things have been. Because we went from being able to, being able to select any class we want, fighting any weight class, fighting any, you know, what we wanted to go to, middleweight, bantamweight, um, welterweight, light heavyweight. We went from doing that to having our weight classes restricted and having to fight in whatever EA wants us to fight in. And that was one of the most stupidest decisions that EA has ever made. Okay? I hope that is not a thing. I hope that's a thing of the past in UFC 5. I hope that's a thing of the past. And we also need skill-based matchmaking too when it comes to the regular off, the regular online. Because... I'm not going to lie. Picking up picking up a dub is cool over somebody that's trash at the game, but I love being in firefights, man. I love being in firefights, firefights to get by, to get my adrenaline flowing, you feel me? I love being in firefights, intense fights. As somebody who's a striker more so than a grappler, I love being in intense fights. I love it, man. So we definitely need skill-based matchmaking in the regular online mode, too. And what about the live events, man? What about the live events? Somebody tell EA to stop fucking around and bring back live events. If you don't know what live events is, it's basically when, let's say, John Jones versus Stipe Miocic is coming up. No, no, no. Uh, what's the next pay-per-view? Okay, Adesanya versus Strickland. Okay, so basically what would happen is... It will be... The upcoming pay-per-view is Adesanya versus Strickland. So, you will have the option to pick Adesanya or Strickland. These are the only two fighters you can pick. But what you have to do is you have to work and get the highest score in the world with one of these two fighters. And this was such a cool thing. I remember being like top 10 in the world when they had the, um, who was it, man? I think it was, I don't know if it was the Donald Cerrone versus Connor one or it was the Adesanya one. I think it was an Adesanya one. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was the Adesanya versus Whitaker one. And you can go look up my gamertag right now. I'm still up there. I'm still up there. I miss live events really bad. Granted, you were limited to two fighters. I wish they would do more of the card on the live events, but it was still a great thing that I really do truly miss. And maybe they can start doing prizes with that, you know? That'll be cool. A really cool addition. But yeah, we definitely need that. Definitely need skill-based matchmaking. We need all that in online. Because the online in UFC 4 was atrocious. It was atrocious. And also, I don't want this to be like Madden. I don't want this to be like like I just mentioned with NBA 2K, etc. I want this to have to be a grind, okay? Because, see, the thing with EA, especially with Ultimate Team, is their thing is you can either go no money spent and suffer, or you could pull out your wallet and you could spend bands on bands on bands on bands. Racks on racks on racks. Yeah, racks on racks on racks. You can spend racks on racks. And you could build up your squad on Ultimate Team like it's nothing. I don't want somebody to be able to pull out their wallet and out of nowhere get a 100 overall. 
I don't want to see in the store you selling Evo points and somebody being able to get a 100 overall fighter on day one. I don't want that shit, yeah? I don't want that. So I hope this is strictly based off grind. Based off how much you grind, not how much you spend, okay? But with that being said, we'll see how this goes, man. We'll see how this goes. And for those of y'all wondering about the beta codes and when is when can you first get your hands on UFC 5, here you go right here. The beta had an error on it, so we're not getting any codes in August. As you can see, it's August 31st and still no codes. But Hey Steve Dave, who is basically what ZDs is to um to EA, he said, and I quote, there is currently an error on the registration page saying they will be delivered late August. Beta codes will be sent out sometime mid-September. We will have additional communication on this in the coming days. So, so pay attention to your mail. Pay attention to your, to your inbox, your email. And you should be getting a code probably around UFC 293 or maybe a little bit later. But with that being said, hope you all enjoyed the content. And can't wait to see you in the octagon and beat y'all ass. You feel me? <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Sun Sanction TV, Rose for 1K. We out here. One love, God bless you in the next one. Peace.